There's been there's been a few tears shed over the thing, and I'm just very thankful that everybody did make it out okay. Lucky to be alive. That's how Tulsa firefighters feel after battling that massive fire at the Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences last Wednesday morning. Eight Tulsa firefighters were hurt in that fire, and two are still in the hospital. And tonight, for the first time, we hear what it was like inside the fire from one of the men who made it out. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg brings us his story, new tonight. <laughs> We spoke to the captain who led his men into the fire through those doors and out of it alive. Now, tonight, he credits good training for saving their lives. We had to crawl all the way down that hose Captain line. Alec remember, Reidner retraced his own steps today and during his first time back inside of the school since the fire. I'm just very thankful that everybody is okay. It's, that's all it is, is injuries. When firefighters got to the scene, Reidner says it looked like the fire was on one side of the school. We pulled the hose line off and went inside the main door. Once inside, firefighters crawled down the smoke-filled hallway past several classrooms. We opened the door to the, that classroom that was on fire, and I would say within a couple seconds of opening that door, the, the, we, heard, we heard something in the floor shook. Reiner says there were two explosions. At that time, it knocked us backwards, knocked us off our hose line. Uh, we were completely covered by fire. He immediately searched for the hose line so firefighters could follow it out of the building. I attribute this to God. I, I can't think of anything else. I mean, our training definitely helped, but we immediately found that, that hose line. One by one, the firefighters made it out of the school. After I saw eight people, you know, I knew eight people were in there. They, you know, a miracle. Reidner believes it was harder for the firefighters stuck outside. The guy driving my truck said that as soon as that happened, he, he uh, immediately started processing his mind that he thought he just lost his career. And so I, I, they had a real, real hard time with it, and they still have a hard time with it. He had minor burns on his ears and face and a large burn on his side, but his family and his crew are helping him heal. They know that I love this job, and like I said, my dad was a fireman, and he loved the job and uh, wouldn't trade it for anything, even after this. Now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. Sounds like a miracle. All right, Sarah, thanks. Well, the Tulsa School of Arts and Sciences is moving forward with a new location. Tonight, the Board of Trustees plan to sign a one-year lease with Tulsa Public Schools to use the old Sequoia Elementary building. That's where they are now. The fire destroyed everything in the previous building that TSAS called home for only two weeks. And a clarification tonight, the Tulsa Public School District now says that the former Barnard Elementary had four smoke detectors. District officials say that the closest smoke detector to where the fire started was in the main entrance area, but they say it was a motion sensor alarm that alerted them to the fire. The school did not have a sprinkler system. A cause of the fire has not been determined.